Hello, today I felt like getting my water mixable oil paints out again and I thought I would do a study of a painting by Fairfield Porter. I've got this beautiful book of his paintings which I showed in a recent art haul. I love the loose and expressive brush marks he uses and so I'm just having a flick through looking for something that I might be able to work from. I don't want anything too complex as I'm still very, very new at oils. This will be my third attempt with them. I also love this photograph of Fairfield Porter at work. I decide that this is the painting I'm going to try and replicate a bit. I'm afraid I forgot to press record for the first part of this painting, but I'm painting on Windsor & Newton Galleria acrylic paper. Uh, I'll link to all the materials down below. And I'm using Windsor & Newton Artisan water mixable oil paints. I'm mainly using paintbrushes from Rosemary & Co's Ivory range. I started off with a very brief pencil sketch and then I just set about blocking in the different areas. As I said in my previous oil painting video, I really don't know much about oils at all or the correct techniques for using them, but I'm just doing what feels nice and that I think I'll enjoy. I also mentioned in a previous video that I don't think I enjoy painting for much more than an hour. As it turned out, this painting took me about 50 minutes. Obviously this is going to limit me somewhat, but for the time being, while well, that's how I'm feeling, I think I'm just going to have to pick styles and paintings which I feel are achievable in that time. In the past I'd spend a long time over detailed colour pencil drawings, for example, but I just get really bored of the process and I think that's why I never really did much art. And so one of the focuses of last year's art practice was to get faster and develop a more loose style so that I could start enjoying art much more. I am finding that I absolutely love the loose texture of this oil paint and just the freedom I feel when I'm using it. I'd quite like to do completely abstract oil paintings too but I um, haven't felt quite brave enough to do that yet.
so that was thoroughly good fun to do. Obviously I haven't captured all the subtleties and things that Fairfield Porter did, but I find it a really useful exercise copying another painting and having a scene already simplified by the artist and being able to see the brush strokes that they used and so forth. Well, I hope that was interesting for you to see too. Thank you for watching. Bye.